Welcome to the channel of Coach and Rafik. Today, I will show you the best way to practice alone without the table. You will understand more about which muscle that the Chinese focus the most in table tennis training. Live if music asks, I don't have a serious table tennis partner. Can you make a video on practicing alone as per Chinese philosophy? Table tennis is the game of coordination. You need to move and to incorporate the movement of your body to make the stroke. That's why you should train with a table and with a partner for some reason that you want to practice alone. Practicing alone with, without a table will not improve your coordination. However, by practicing alone, you can develop the two important aspects of table tennis. Chinese philosophy about the physical training in table tennis focuses on the lower part of the body. The most important muscle group are the back, the hip, waist, and the leg. Su Xin has answered in the interview that for him, the back muscle is the most important in table tennis. You can see that this Chinese player is training the back and the hip muscle. His legs are kept fixed. He used mainly the hip to generate the power. Chinese philosophy consider the hip as the connection of the two body parts, lower part to generate power and upper, upper part to transfer the power. If you have to practice alone, you should focus on this muscle. The stronger this muscle are, the quicker you get into the position and your stroke will be more powerful. Again, you can see that this player focuses on the muscle of the leg and the back. He holds the tool with his forearm and then uses the body to generate the power. His elbow is very close to the body. This training will increase the power of his forehand topspin attack because it shares the same shock mechanism. And this training will improve the power of his backhand topspin far from the table. He focuses mainly on the rotation of the body. This is the way the Chinese players add the power to honor the stroke. They focus on several muscle groups, the back, the hip, and the abdomen. The forearm is the part of the upper limb between the elbow and the wrist. Because the backhand stroke is the quick stroke, so you should train also the forearm muscle. It is like you take out the sword. This action will increase the explosiveness of your backhand close to the table. So, the first aspect you can practice alone without the table is the physical strength of the lower part of your body. The second aspect is the explosiveness and the precision. This is the best example of explosiveness. Many players focus only on pulling back the racket before hitting the ball, but don't know how to accelerate correctly. Look at this Chinese player. He puts his racket on the ball, no need to pull the racket back, and suddenly generate a lot of power to the ball. Where does this power come from? It doesn't come from his forearm, but it comes from the rotation of his body. Now you understand more what I have said in my previous video, power from the ground. That is your body weight to generate most of the power. The forearm is only a tool to transfer this power. This is the secret of Chinese table tennis technique. They found a way to increase the stroke power in a shorter amount of time because the waist muscle is much stronger and quicker than the forearm muscle. This Chinese player is indeed a very good player. His stroke is powerful and of course, his ball is very spinny and fast. Because explosiveness and acceleration is the main reason that makes the, the ball spin.
not many players know that the table tennis stroke has three phases slow, relax, and acceleration to explode and slow recovery. This is the best way that our muscle compacts its energy and then releases it suddenly. Look at this player. The explosiveness of his stroke is very good. It happens in a fraction of a second. So, if you do your stroke in a linear way, without acceleration, it is not good. You should change it. Do the stroke in three phases. You can also clearly see the technique of this player. His elbow is very close to the body. He lower his center of the gravity and use the weight to generate the power. You can also practice the precision by focusing the moment you hit the ball. Prepare well before hitting is the key to avoid missing the ball. The weight transfer between the left and the right foot is also very important. You should memorize this mechanism because it is fundamental in table tennis. To improve your table tennis technique, you should repeat the training every day. Repetition is the only way to change your bad habits to correct your stroke. I recommend you compare this technique with your videos. You will clearly see the huge difference. You hit with only one phase without acceleration. And this Chinese guy hit with three phases. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next weekend.